Hey guys, welcome back to Clover Knows Pets. I'm Clover and today we're going to be talking about hermit crab diet. I have currently 26 hermit crabs, both land and aquatic. I've got 11 aquatic hermit crabs and wait, what is it? 15 um, land hermit crabs. Now we do um, do hermit crab rescue and I run a hermit crab rescue myself um, and so we do have a separate tank downstairs that has our rescues which we take in if people can't care for or no longer want, rehabilitate them if needed, and adopt them out to new homes. Uh, so I am counting that in this uh, list. If not, I have 10 um, land hermit crabs and still 11 aquatic hermit crabs. Anyways, here you can see my 75-gallon uh, bioactive hermit crab tank. Now, this is 4 feet long, and so it is big enough for 10 hermit crabs, and yeah. Uh, so, I do feed a varied diet, and you should too, and that is basics, but let's just talk about what a varied diet includes, and why you need what, um, what minerals and stuff and what they help with with your hermit crab, and some great places to buy food, and some good hermit crab food recipes. Let's get started. Now, hermit crabs need, like most animals, uh, proteins and lipids, carbohydrates, carotenoids, omega fats, calcium, and chitin. Now, let's talk about what some things you can find all of this in are, and why you need to feed them. Now, Crab Central Station did make a very good video about uh, this same sort of stuff called, I think it's Farm Fresh to Crab or something like that, uh, which is pretty much beginner hermit crab food um, and why you need it. And so I made this little poster thing off of it, and that is a updated video. And so all this stuff is going to be coming from there, at least for this section. The rest will be from me, um, but yeah. Some places you can find proteins and lipids, pretty obvious, all meats, raw or cooked, all seafood, um, which should be cooked for hermit crabs, normally, um, egg, any nuts, coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, alfalfa hay, broccoli, bloodworms, millet, rice, flax seeds, uh, and there is more, obviously, a lot, lot more, but that's just a quick list. Um, and what that helps with is growth, energy, and it encourages molting and discourages cannibalism. For carotenoids, um, you can find carotenoids for hermit crabs in things like barks, leaves, flowers, um, red, green, orange um, veggies, and then in mosses, shrimp, salmon, and this helps with your hermit crab's immune system, nervous system, and helps to enhance their chylor. Omega fats are found in hermit crab safe foods such as coconut, walnut, fish skin, olive oil, um, different kinds of seeds, peanut butter, and then chia seeds, again, kind of seed, but uh, yeah. Um, the omega fats help with nervous system, processes, uh, process of minerals, and, um, it helps with processing of minerals, yeah, often things like carotenoids, which we just talked about. Now, some places you can find carbohydrates are grapes, apples, oatmeal, raisin, honey, um, and you don't want to feed too much honey just because it's not super great for your hermit crab in large amounts, so maybe as a treat. Um, but banana, any citric pulp, like, from, uh, oranges and stuff, if you made orange juice or something, you can use the pulp from that, or just take out the pulp. Uh, seaweed and bull po bee pollen, um, and the, the carbohydrates help with fuel and energy, so pretty much the same thing, but, yeah. Calcium, this is pretty obvious, um, cuddle bone, cuddle bone, oyster shell, uh, beans, okra, quinoa, freeze-dried shrimp, stuff like that. Um, this helps with, well, a, hex a healthy exoskeleton, pitty obvious. And then chitin is pretty much the same sort of thing. Shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, boiled crawfish, because you don't want raw with them. Um, you can do insect exoskeletons, mushrooms, and that again helps with exoskeleton. 
Now let's talk about some great store-bought foods you can feed your hermit crab. Of course, they do need fresh foods also, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but any um, hermit crab food companies I'm listing right now are uh, LOCOS approved. LOCOS stands for the Land Hermit Crab Owner Society, and therefore they are guaranteed safe for your hermit crab. Now, one of the shops that I like buying from, uh, or at least I'd consider buying from soon, is bioactive fx um and i actually haven't bought from there but i had i won um some small food tubes from crabcon which is a um, it's a hermit crab event and then i got donated some for our rescue um and yeah they're um they also sell a lot of choya wood and they are previously known as choya king um obviously like i said before they are approved site and something I like about them is they do a lot of single food. Uh, for example, normally with a lot of brands, or, com or oh my god, a lot of hermit crab foods, it's like a bunch of different ingredients, but for them, uh, they do do mixes, but oftentimes it's exactly what it says it is, and that's it. Um, another great thing is they have a lot of fruit powders and vegetable powders, and I like not only just feeding a big um, bowl of it, but sprinkling it over their current food, and they really like that. I've got passion fruit powder here, we've got tomato powder, just lots of great stuff. Um, yeah, so Bioactive FX. It's also important to note that they are on Etsy and they have their own website. Alright, the next brand I'm going to be talking about is Hermit Grub, and I really love this brand. I swear I've bought at least $150 worth of stuff, and I'm not exaggerating. The first order I got was during um, CrabCon 2021, um, and that was the first time buying from them, and I bought, uh, I think it was $40 worth of stuff, um, which I still haven't run out of, by the way, uh, 2022, and still plenty to go. And then I bought a second time, which was, I think, 60, uh, 65 or something dollars, and then I got a gift card, um, for my birthday from there, that was $50, and I spent all that, and so, yeah, yeah, I've spent a lot of money there, but their food is amazing. Now, they do have a bunch of ingredients in it, but they are, they have no preservatives, it's all safe and natural, and each one of them, or at least most of them, uh, have a little sign that says full meal, meaning that it has um, all the things that we just talked about, carotenoids, carbohydrates, all that stuff um, in it, and a just balanced meal, and safe to feed as the only thing for your hermit crab, although I do not recommend that due to the fact that hermit crabs need a varied diet. I feed their food almost every night, but I feed lots of different kinds, as you can see in the bowls. Um, and yeah, they get this food daily, but it's a lot of different foods I have, so it's a lot of variety. Uh, I'm just gonna read off the, um, ingredient, or some of the names and ingredients of some of my favorites that my hermit crabs always have access to, such as the seaweed salad, color me purple, stuff like that. Okay, let's start with seaweed salad. Uh, the ingredients in this are kelp powder, wok me, Corella powder, spinula powder, purple seaweed, kelp granules, bladder wreck, red marine algae, nori, nori green seaweed. Now, this is literally exactly what it says it is. Uh, and one of the things I really like about Hermit Grub is they fill their um, containers to the top. Uh, I've used this for about half a year now, and they get it every single night I put some in there. Um, and yeah, so that's a lot of stuff that's gotten out um i swear i mean it was hard to scoop at first because of how much it is which is a good thing it was a lot of great food and they fill it and pack it to the top um but yeah next one that i really like is the egg powder which is just that it's freeze-dried egg powder <laughs> the next one that i really like and just like the seaweed salad i also keep this in the tank at all times is the Color Me Purple. This is a larger jar, this is the medium, and I've had this for a year now and still hasn't run out I'm trying to get this flat. Um, but yeah, I've still got a bunch in there, so yeah, I will be using this for a while. They really love it. Alright, so the ingredients in this are 
strawberries, blackberries, blueberry powder, amaranth, oats, fish meal, crab and lobster shell, blue corn meal, purple potato powder, uh, grape powder, raspberry powder, peanut butter powder, purple seaweed, hibiscus flowers, and powdered rose petals. Another good one I give all the time to them is skeletal power repair. Uh, and the ingredients are oyster shell, oyster shell flour, crab and lobster shell, feather meal, bee pollen powder, crushed cuddle bone, coral, uh, spinach powder, honey granules, rose petals, spaniola powder, uh, green, green sand, uh, cashews, eggshells, calcium carbonate. And this is another really good one, California sushi roll. Um, ingredients are crab and lobster shell, red shrimp, wild tuna, sesame seeds, nori green seaweed, uh, cabbage, shikate or shitek, mushrooms, um, pieces and powder, uh, jas jasmine petals, and wild rice. Let me just show you what some of these look like. Alright, so this is one of them. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me focus, I'm sorry, but yeah, we've got some big chunks in there. This is the, uh, California sushi roll, and yeah, there's some good stuff. I know you can't really see, but. <laughs> Another really cool thing about them is they always give a bunch of, uh, little samples, tiny little samples with different things. Uh, these are the ones I got in my last order, um, and each order comes with these little tiny wooden spoons that I love using. Um, they work great for uh, scooping hermit crab food, and yeah, I like them. Um, another really great uh, Locos approved uh, brand is, um, what's it called? Uh, Just Two Old Crabs, and they sell a lot of great um, food mixes, and they sell what they call vacation feeders. Uh, I currently have um, the two that they had on sale um, for CrabCon. Uh, which is the Peanut Butter Crunch Cup and the Blueberries Delight. Uh, my hermit crabs really love the Peanut Butter Crunch Cup and some, for some reason, just don't like the Blueberries Delight. Not sure why, but these are great to feed when you're going on vacation, like the Dane, or if you're going away for a few days or something, because they are oily, oily and they um, just dropped a food, um, but they are, uh, they're pretty much suet for hermit crabs, and they're really really good to feed um, when you're going on vacation or something. Of course, you still need someone to check up on your hermit crabs, but as long as you're not gone for more than a week, uh, you can just put this in there and leave it like that. And yeah, that's good enough for them because um, it won't rot because of how oily it is. Now they also feed, or they also sell a bunch of like food bags. Um, this one I just got at CrabCon hence the name, um, but yeah, lots of great foods, and yeah, I think they come in really cute packages, they're pretty inexpensive. My two favorites, or my bird's favorite, oh my god, not my bird's, my hermit crab's favorites are the psychedelic salmon and the beef and broccolini, um, probably just because they smell so much, they have really strong fishy odors, both of them for some reason, even though this doesn't have fish. Um, but yeah, and hermit crabs love anything that smelly like that, and so I think that's one of the reasons they really like it. But yeah, they've got a bunch of great meals, some of the ones I have other than these. Uh, I've got the sweet summer salad, I've got the thumpers trail, and this one has bunny poop in it, my hermit crabs really love that. The cicada salad, uh, has cicada exoskeleton, and garden of worms is another my hermit crabs really, really like. It's colored with turmeric. That's why it's so bright yellow. Uh, it's hard to show on camera because this isn't a very good camera, but it's really, really bright and it's really just amazing um, food. These are not complete meals, meaning you can't feed only like a few of those and call it done, um, but they are really great anyways. Alright, um, there are a bunch of other amazing brands, and on uh, the Locos website, they have a list of all the approved sellers um, that have great food and stuff that are all safe. 
Uh, I'm just not going to list them all because these are the only um, brands that I've ever used with my own hermit crabs and I know they like. Is that a hermit crab out there? Yeah, gosh. They're big. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing now and I think I'll continue doing that. Now, like I said earlier, that you can't only feed this. They do need fresh foods, which can consist of anything that I stated in the list beforehand, um, along with pretty much anything. Uh, Locos um, website and Krebs, oh uh, gosh, um, and uh, Crab Street Journal also have um, lists of safe lists, and they're not complete, but they go on and on and on. It's amazing how many things these guys can eat. Um, but yeah, you do want to be providing at least five different things a night, whether that's five different um, pre-made locust proof foods, or that's five homemade foods, or that's five different kinds of fruits and veggies and all that stuff. Uh, whatever it is, you want to provide at least five things, and those are at least five, or that is at least three complete meals. And then you could do two more complete meals, or you could do one more complete meal, or you could do just random stuff like, say, a grape, uh, stuff like that. Um, you can make complete meals that are fresh, just make sure you're following the proteins and lipids, carotenoids, carbohydrates, calcium, chitin, and omega fats. Uh, make sure you have adequate amounts of all of that every night that you feed. Um, yeah, I've done it before, the hermit cuts love it. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.